Well, over the last couple of weeks, we've seen how the sports world has really come together to try and tackle the racist issues that we know have been plaguing society throughout the world. Nate Saunders is joining me for this one as we finally see Formula One getting in on the action, I suppose. And, you know, Nate, this is something that Lewis Hamilton has constantly, constantly been vocal about, you know, before, even more so now. So tell me a little bit more about what this We Race As One initiative is going to entail. Yeah, you're absolutely right about about Lewis, you know, he's not just been talking about this over the last couple of months. This has been something he's been talking about for a long time. And he's really put pressure on Formula One since the Black Lives Matter um, movement came to prominence again this year to really step out and do something. And this is the first thing we've seen. So we race as one. It's quite a vague statement at the moment. I think we'll get more details closer to the Austrian Grand Prix. But it's it's just about recognising the issues that exist both in society and in Formula One as well. You know, it's a it's it's a, a paddock that doesn't have a great deal of diversity and that's something that Lewis Hamilton's talked about a lot. There were two things that stood out to me in their statement which they released on Monday morning. Um, the first one was saying you know that, that um, there is uh, they're returning to racing with an added purpose that's not just about coming back to racing but it's about coming back to racing and really highlighting the issues that we've all been talking about over the past couple of weeks and months um, and then secondly that it's not just a one week or one year problem it's not something that's just going to go away once the headlines change it's very much about trying to change the culture and the philosophy in formula one so while we haven't got specific um specific information from formula one of exactly what we races one will entail in the long term it definitely signifies a shift in in that direction and trying to raise that awareness um and it follows um at the weekend lewis hamilton launching the hamilton commission which is something he's doing independently and that's really to drive people from um from different backgrounds into formula one and um i think it's a it's a great sign we knew lewis was going to do something and we expect that there'll be something more ahead of austria specifically about black lives matter uh, as we've seen in the premier league and bundesliga but um yeah it's really kind of a starting point for that and i guess any conversation that formula one or motorsport wants to have about this it has to start somewhere here so uh, it's very encouraging and it means drivers will be talking about it fans will be aware of it and engaging with it and obviously lewis hamilton i guess will be a driving force behind that so all very encouraging stuff and um we'll see over the next couple of days and weeks i guess exactly what it entails and i suppose how significant is this from the sport because like i said we know that lewis has been talking about this and vocal about it for for ages now he's not been mm. shy to say that he has felt like the odd one out you know, from day one. So just how significant is this from the sport? Can you ever think of a time where they were actually this hands-on to, to even listen to other people, you know, other black people that may have an interest in the sport and kind of finally listen to, to Lewis full on? Yeah, I think this, this does feel different to anything we've seen before. I think whenever Lewis has come out and spoken about the lack of diversity before, there's always been a statement or a response, but it then very quickly gets superseded by either that race weekend or the events of the season. I think that the unique situation that we find ourselves in globally now, it means that these issues are kind of, and, and it's a good thing, you know, they're staying very, very prevalent at the front of everybody's minds. And so I think Formula One, and we've seen a lot of different sports and championships do it, have had to address this, you know, and they've had to say, this isn't just something we're doing for a short-term spell. This is a long-term change in approach. Um, and part of it as well, there's going to be a focus group about equality and trying to get people from different backgrounds into Formula One, which is both. So that's from the Formula One side. And obviously that's what the Hamilton Commission is there trying to do as well. So hopefully we start to see that change at grassroots level. I guess that's the, the, the key that will change things long term. Um, but yeah, this, this definitely feels very significant from Formula One to kind of take things in that direction. And finally, of course, um, we saw that in the statement, they did say that they are prepared to tackle some of the issues that just face that society faces today. One of it being this coronavirus pandemic as well. So that's also going to be a part of this initiative too, right? Yeah, that's right. So it's a two pronged uh, initiative. The first the first bit is what we've spoken about already is racism and um, inequality. And then the second kind of tenant of that is uh, recognizing both health workers across the world and also people affected by COVID-19 this year. And um, what you're going to see on a lot of the cars and on some of the um, team kit, there'll be a rainbow stripe. Uh, and that's the rainbow made up of the colours of all the, the 10 teams. And I think, I, I believe the merchandise is also going to be sold. There's going to be hashtags and initiatives, etc. And all of that merchandise, you know, money will go towards different uh, charities which are working with coronavirus. So for any NFL fan who's used to seeing kind of, you know, pink, pink lacing on kits etc for, for, for cancer awareness is very similar to that so there'll be a lot going on over these first couple of races especially to really hammer home this initiative and every team already has kind of tweeted about this saying you know this is a great thing we're on board with we want to push it as much as possible so i think the key is now that the 
that buy-in continues and that the teams continue to push those positive messages forward. Um, and yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll probably get a better idea of exactly what it entails um, either before the Austrian Grand Prix or kind of, I guess, once we've seen it in action, you know, we know there'll be signs up around the, the Austrian Grand Prix um, that are basically talking about this message as much as possible. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content plus live streaming, make sure to subscribe to ESPN Player.